John Abelsheim for Boating New Zealand magazine and today's review is a custom white pointer 970 Pro Sportsman and it's headed off to the Philippines. <laughs> Here we have a cockpit that is built for fishing. In fact, it'll fish six people quite happily. And we start with, a, we've got a helm station here um, in the cockpit, uh, fully equipped, even to the autopilot. Uh, you can adjust the autopilot from out here. A feature that you don't see too often. Lots of rod holders, all of them angled just perfectly for trolling. We've got uh, decent size ocean blue outriggers on this boat. We've got an uprigger as well. I like the way that White Pointer hides away a lot of the things that that other boats just sit in full view nicely out of the way hand washers we've got one either side drink holders but these ones are nice and deep and uh, they've actually been sourced especially for this boat a hatch here to hide the pumps for the tuna tubes we've got one each side decent sized tuna tubes you'll get a really good size skipjack in there drains in the corners these are serviced by bilge pumps to pump the water out this cork decking is really really good on the feet feels nice it's cool it'll be cool even in the philippines where this boat is going and they've got the tropical sun to deal with he wanted something that was going to be cool on his feet one of the features you can't miss here in the middle of the cockpit they've decided to utilize the space on top of the engine box and it's unavoidable an engine box in a boat of this type with a great big uh, six cylinder diesel in under the floor but they've made good use of it with this sort of whole unit they've got up here um, this is I, I call this a rigging table once again we've got rod holders we've got rod holders for africa in this boat i think there are 36 of them nice big drawer here you can keep all of your gear in there this is where you want to rig your lures rig your baits uh, not necessarily where you want to fillet your fish you've got another bait table for that on the transom that can be for all the wet and dirty work more rod storage along the sides here and underneath you've got somewhere to put dive bottles also it turns out it's a really handy place to put the fenders we've got a seat Underneath we have a, an insulated bin, but it's a great place to sit if you're watching the lures or, or just if you want a bit of a rest while you're fishing. Um, alternatively, you can take it off altogether and you can fit a game chair. There's a, a mount here on the top of the engine box. Again, the transom's been really well thought out. We've got the live bait tank in the middle. That's, you know, fairly standard. Um, our batteries are nicely protected, they're hidden away, they're up off the floor, they're in those transom lockers on the port side. This transom door actually drops downwards, it's got uh, integrated steps that also slide off and down to make it easier to get in and out of the boat from the water. And this door of course will also be used to drag uh, large fish through into the cockpit. Got a fair bit going on up here as well. Uh, we have a, a man overboard raft. It's a fairly remote area they're going to be fishing. A really big closed array radar unit from Furuno and also a satellite GPS uh, antenna that's going to make sure that the, uh, the GPS functions to make sure that your positioning is perfect. A couple of solar panels up here as well. Keeps the batteries topped up, bilge pumps going if the thing's on a mooring instead of being pulled out. It's a really well thought out and well engineered uh, setup up here. So quite a bit of attention has gone into the design of the uh, helm console here. Tom Van Prague, who project managed this whole boat build, he's decided that he wanted a particular look and he's got that uh, and I think his uncle's going to be extremely happy with that. Everything falls to hand quite nicely, uh, things like the, the Lumar here, the bow thruster, great thing to have on a boat like this. Even the Furuno Electronics has made sure we've got the remote control down here. If it's a bit rough to, to reach around and, and try and uh, use the touch screen, you can always fall back on this position here. This also controls the autopilot, very handy. Now this wheel is also custom. Um, it's not a wheel that White Pointer normally does. Uh, Tom actually found this, uh, this wheel online. He particularly likes it. And I must say it is, you know, it's a bit smaller than normal, but of course it's power steering. Uh, it certainly suits this dashboard quite nicely. And the seat is something that I really should note as well. It's a full suspension seat, but not just a short suspension seat like some of them are. It actually is full length. It actually runs through the, through the base underneath and, and down to the, to the floor. So you've got the full travel of the suspension seat again makes it much more comfortable in a sea so a very uh fairly basic but quite a practical galley here we've got a, a two burner spirit stove from dometic uh, also a spirit oven a little bit of a grill on there as well we have a refrigerator on this side underneath the the seat with its reversible rear uh, rest we've got a nice big freezer table that drops down this can become another berth should you require it 
Uh, in the full cabin we've got sleeping accommodation for three, one of them in a pipe berth. Uh, once the infills are in there it's quite a generous sized berth. Nice deep padding as well and the toilet in this boat is underneath the bed. Uh, you just lift up the cushion and it's ready to use. Nice privacy curtain. <laughs> So that's the White Pointer 970 Pro Sportsman. Now this is a pretty impressive vessel in, in every way from performance through to fuel economy to the way that it's been kitted out and uh, the owner in, in the Philippines is going to be a very, very happy man. John Ackleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.